Hello students, today we are going to do an activity of maths based on the topic factorization. And what is the objective of this activity? We will going to factorize the given expression using paper cutting and pasting. Earlier you are also doing it with algebraic method mathematically in your notebooks. You are solving these type of questions but now you are going to understand that how to do it with paper cutting and pasting. Basically how to visualize the factors, how you can find out the factors of this, what exactly the meaning of factors is there. So for that you can see we are going to use this rulers, scissors, uh, normal pen, pencil and these are the craft papers. Now the very first thing which we need to do this activity is you can see the equation this is 3x square. What is the meaning of 3x square? As I told you in last activity that we have done of algebraic identity that x square means what is the meaning of x square? x square means we have a square with side x. Okay, x will is the variable. So you can just opt any measurement for that. Fine. So we need three squares with side x. So we need to cut. You can choose any one color. Suppose I'm choosing purple color. And I'm going to cut, cut three squares with side x. So x I'm supposing here as six units. Now you can see I have drawn a square here I'm going to cut it and as I'm showing you cutting of one square similarly you can cut the same sized three squares like this now just have a look from this paper I have cut these three square pieces now the time to cut something else now I'm removing this paper now you can see the second thing is 5x you know what does it mean 5x means we should have a rectangle with the length as x means whatever the measurement of x we have taken here same we going to take for the rectangle the length as x and the breadth as one unit okay one unit and x we are taking just similar as we have taken for the square so here for x I have opted six units so same here I'm going to just opt 6 unit as a length of the rectangle and 1 unit I'm taking out for the breadth. So in this manner you can just make one rectangle fine. So I'm measuring taking the measures for the rectangle and after taking this you can see I have drawn and in the same manner you can draw and cut 5x means 5 these type of this is one so similar five rectangles we need because it is 5x now just have a look from this paper I have cut these five orange rectangles and these one rectangle is x okay means area actually we are writing if this is 1 and this we are considering as x, so x into 1, the area will become x. So everywhere in the middle, I am writing x. And here in the purple pieces, I am writing their area inside. Like if the <clears throat> one side is x, what will be its area? It will be x square. Fine. As it is not visible clearly, so I am writing with this. This is x square. Okay, this is also x square and now this is also x square. Okay, now we are left with this 2. So for this 2, how we can get the area 2 of a square if you can think? Means 1 plus 1 means we need to take two small unit squares. Fine, means the side of one square should be one units now just have a look 
I have cut these two squares. They are unit squares, means having side as one unit. So their area I'm writing in between that is one because they are having only area one units. So I writing one here in between this paper. Fine. Now I'm removing this paper. Now time to do the activity that how we can find out the factors of the given expression. Now you can see it's 3x square. We need to take these square pieces and we need to arrange them in a manner. All the pieces we need to arrange in a manner that we can get a rectangle. Fine. This is a rectangle but we need to arrange all the pieces. So where should I put it? That I am putting it here. One second here. Fine. And the third one here. Fine. This is also a rectangle but now we are left with these two and these two pieces more. So where should I arrange them so that we can have. If I arrange them here and I will put them here but it is not a complete rectangle. Okay. This is not right. Because it should be a complete rectangle. Then uh, if I put them, these two X pieces, I am putting them here. You can see. Okay. If I am putting them together here and this is here. Then you are left with this piece. So these two units I can put here, unit squares. Now, is it a complete rectangle? Yes, it is a complete rectangle. Now, what will be its side? What will be its like length and breadth of the rectangle? Now, just calculate the length. If this is x, this is x, this is x. Means how many x are there? 3x. And this is 2. So, what should I write here? 3x plus 2 will be the length. Now, what will be the breadth? Now it is clearly visible. The length here is x and this is 1. So can I write here that the breadth is x plus 1? I can write here also or I can write here x plus 1. Fine. So now the product of the length and breadth will be the required factors of the given expression okay isn't it interesting if you find it algebraically also you will definitely find these factors only so the factors of this given expressions are 3x plus 2 multiplied by x plus 1 now so what we have observed from this activity we observed that the product of length and breadth of the rectangle which we have made here are the Factors of given expression means this is the given expression and the product of the length. What is the length? 3x plus 2 and what is the breadth? x plus 1. So this product is the right factorization of the given expression. So that's all for today students. I hope you have enjoyed this activity. Now you can not only do with this expression you can just try for another expressions also similar way you just form a rectangle and the product of length and breadth will be the factors of the given expression thank you so much students